there's a crispness here that we don't get somewhere else. You, know, you get up and you see it and it's, it's new all over again. You know, you're driving down the road and somebody goes, wow, look at the way the light's hitting that mountain over there as it's setting on the, you know, on the snow on the mountains. And it's that visual impact of the light, I think, that causes that emotional impact. So I take that kind of light and it, it creates a mystery in a painting. As an artist, what I've found is that you're so focused that if something all of a sudden breaks that focus, you can lose the whole thing. You learn to see the minute things that other people don't see, whether it be in a large scene like the Tetons or whether it's something very small where it's maybe light just landing on some lupines. One of them is in Rocky Mountain National Park of some falls along the St. Vrain Creek. In the autumn, when the leaves were turning on Cottonwood Pass up in Grand County, we were coming back over Berthoud Pass from skiing, and the sun was just going down below the mountains, and the whole sky just changed dramatically. Waterfalls, snow scenes, summer scenes, autumn scenes. Again, I think that's the light that's a part of the emotional experience. I'll be walking along on a hike or something in a stream, and one of the things that really attracts me is that you can actually see down through the water and see the reflections of things down underneath the water. And by glazing, you can actually create that. I'll start out painting the, what's really on the bottom of the stream. I build up the rocks down there, the way the light's reflecting off them. And then as you put these transparent layers, one on top of the other, you build your way right up to the surface. So when somebody looks at it, it actually looks like you're looking right down through the surface of the water. Out here in the Rocky Mountains, there is a very different atmosphere. There's a clarity to it that there isn't anywhere else. We've got those blue skies that other people don't see. It's hard to describe it, but the atmosphere is different, so it affects what your paintings look like. So I think everybody has gifts, and I think some of them are stronger than others. But I'm sure everybody has that for something, and with painting, that's what it is with me.